Shita. All right, Madhuri Lil, uh, I'll have to read the English today because there's people here. Tr translation, one who always sees all living entities as spiritual sparks in quality one with the Lord becomes a true knower of things. What then can be illusion or anxiety for him? Today, who sees all the living entities as spiritual sparks in quality one with the Lord She's giving Russian interest. I think you have to sit over the. Do you have to use a microphone? Um, is it? So, no microphone. Is it? You talk on board, check on Facebook. We saw you in the group or something. So, no microphone? Yeah, okay. Purport. <coughs> Except for the Madhyama Adhikari and Uttama Adhikari discussed above. No one can correctly see the spiritual position of a living being. The living entities are qualitatively one with the Supreme Lord, just as the sparks of a fire are qualitatively one with the fire. Yet sparks are not fire as far as quantity is concerned. For the quantity of heat and light present in the sparks is not equal to that in fire. The Mahabhagavat, the great devotee, sees oneness in the sense that he sees everything as the energy of the Supreme Lord. Since there is no difference between the energy and the energetic, there is a sense of oneness. Although from the analytical point of view, heat and light are different from fire, there is no meaning to the word fire without heat and light. In synthesis, therefore, heat, light and fire are the same. Chinko 伟大的奉献者这个词也没有意思所以综合地讲 the, the living entity is one in quality with the Lord, but different in quantity. And the, the living entity is compared to the spark, and the Supreme Lord is like the fire. 
，而呢個嘅至尊主咧，就好似咧係一個大火球。So the 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 spark and the fire have similar qualities, but different in quantity. 火花同大火球咧個品質一樣嘅，但係嗰個量又唔同，光同熱都唔同。So then, Prabhupada talks about the Mahabhagavat's vision, how he sees everything as the energy of the Supreme Lord. Prabhupada 亦都解得一個偉大靈魂咧，馬哈巴格塔咧，佢睇一切都係神嘅能量。So the the Lord is the energetic, and the living entities are the energy. 至尊主咧，佢係能量嘅擁有人啦，而呢個。嘅生物體咧，佢就係呢啲能量。So they're 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 the same, but at the same time they're different. 所以與此同時係一樣嘢，與此同時都係唔同嘅。So the living entity and the Lord are both spiritual beings, but there's a big difference between the living entity. 所以咧，生物体咧同埋至尊主咧都系生物，都系一个灵性嘅，但系佢哋咧系亦都有唔同。Right, well, I'll read the next paragraph. 我哋读下一段。In this mantra, the words ekat vam anupashyataha indicate that one should see the unity of all living entities. From the viewpoint of the revealed scriptures, the individual sparks of the supreme whole, the Lord, possess almost eighty percent of the known qualities of the whole, but they are not quantitatively equal to the supreme Lord. These qualities are present in minute quantity for the living entity. Is but a minute part and parcel of the supreme whole. To use another example, the quantity of salt present in a drop is never comparable to the quantity of salt present in the ocean. But the salt present in the drop is qualitatively equal in chemical composition. To all the salt present in the ocean, if the individual living being were equal to the supreme Lord, both qualitatively and quantitatively, there would be no question of his being under the influence of the material energy. In the previous mantra, it has already been discussed. That no living being, not even the powerful demigods, can surpass the supreme being in any respect. Therefore, ekat vam does not mean that a living being is equal in all respect to the supreme lord. It does, however, indicate that in a broader sense there is one interest. Just as in a family, the interest of all members is one, or in a nation, the national interest is one, although there are many different individual citizens. Since the living entities are all members of the same supreme family, their interest and that of the supreme being are not different. Every living being. As the son of the supreme being, as stated in the Bhagavad Gita, all living creatures throughout the universe, including birds, reptiles, ants, aquatics, trees, and so on, are emanations of the marginal potency of the supreme Lord. Therefore, all of them belong to the family of the supreme being. There is no clash of interest. 呢节诗中咧 ，a kamvam anu pasyanta 一句咧系叫表明，我哋应该从启示嘅经典嘅角度咧
去睇眾生嘅一體性。至尊嘅整體，即係至尊主啦，散發出個個個體嘅火花，幾乎擁有咧係整個百分之八十嘅品質。但喺量上同至尊主係有住天淵之別。個體嘅生物係至尊整體所屬嘅極少。嘅一部分，所以擁有呢啲品質亦都好少嘅。用一個比喻嚟講，就係、是、一滴嘅海水嘅含鹽量咧，永遠唔能夠同呢個整個汪洋嘅含鹽含鹽量咧係相提並論嘅。但係一滴水裏面嘅化學成分同整個汪洋嘅鹽嘅化學成分係一樣嘅。個體生物如果喺量同同埋質上咧，都同自然主一樣嘅話咧，個體嘅靈魂就不受到咧受制於呢個物質能量嘅影響啦。前一節咧，詩咧，詩文中亦都説咗：如果冇嗰個生物，哪怕嗰個強大有力嘅半神人，有可能喺任何一方面咧係超過咧係至尊生物嘅。因此咧，詩文中咧，梵文 e c o 一字咧嘅意思就話，並非係生物所有方面都等於至尊主。然而，佢喺更廣泛嘅意義嘅。就係、是、表明咧，個體生物同至尊主有住共同嘅利益。呢一點咧，就好似個家庭裏面嘅成員同一個國家嘅國民，儘管有好多唔同嘅成員啦，但係利益都係一樣嘅。既然生物係同一個至高無上家庭中嘅成員，都係至尊主嘅仔女，咁樣佢哋嘅利益同至尊生物嘅利益係一樣嘅。不過凡哥。喺第七章咧，第五節中講，宇宙中所有嘅生物，包括飛鳥啊、爬蟲啊、螞蟻啊、水生物啊、樹木啊，都係至尊主嘅邊際能量所散發出嚟嘅。因此，佢哋全部都係屬於至尊主生物大家庭，彼此冇相抵觸嘅利益。The living entities do not have all the qualities of the Supreme Lord, but they can have up to eighty percent. He has. 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 They don't have them in the same quantity. The Lord has infinite quantity. The living entities have a very small quantity. This is what the Lord is saying. Quantity. 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 And then we're given the example about salt in the water in the ocean. There's salt water, so there's you take one drop from the ocean. It has some salt, has similar quality, same quantity qualities as the ocean. 個例子咧就係啲鹽分啊，海水嘅鹽分咧同呢個一滴水咧，海水咧都係一樣嘅鹽分嗰個量嗰個分析，但係個量就唔同。And then we're told also that the living entities are all like members of the same family, and the Lord is the Father, and all the living entities are the children of the Lord. 另一個解釋咧，嗰、那個比例咧，比喻咧，就係好似個大大家庭，至尊主好似係爸爸媽媽咧，咁而呢啲嘅生物體就好似仔女。And we should have the common interest, just like in a family, all the members of the family are concerned for the welfare of the family. So the same way, all the living entities should be concerned for the welfare of other living entities. 就好似咧喺個家庭成員咧，佢哋會共同咧為家庭嘅利益着想啊。咁同樣嚟講，生物體同自然主咧，佢哋利益都係一樣。And this includes all living. This includes all living entities. So even the birds and the, the insects and the fish and the trees, they're all different kinds of living entities. 咁生物體意味住咧係所有生物體，包括飛鳥啊、爬蟲、走獸、螞蟻啊等等各類嘅生物體。
So we want to see the oneness in that sense that everyone is part of the one family. So we see that one family, the 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 one family. So when we have the common interest, then people can live together peacefully and happily. 如果我哋有共同利益嘅話咧，咁大家就會好和平共處啊。But if everyone has their own separate interests, everyone is an individual and they think of their own interests and don't care about others, then they will create a lot of problems. 但如果大家生物生活喺一齊，大家各顧各，大家都唔理對方或者大家自私嘅話咧，咁就好大問題啦。I was explaining to one devotee about how uh, the, the the family the fa the, the the family interests are common for everyone. 我之前解釋咧，就係話一個家庭裏邊咧，佢哋家利益咧係大家共同嘅，大家都係啊為個家庭嘅。We're all the marginal potency of the Supreme Lord. 我哋每一位咧都系指尖主嘅边际能量。So we have that free will. We can choose where we want to live. We want to live with the Lord, or we want to be separate from Him. 所以我有自由意愿啦。我哋系有想同主一齐生活啦，定系分开生活？所以，如果我们生活在基督的意识里，那么所有人都可以合作，并且合作。如果我们生活在基督的意识里，那么所有人都可以合作，并且合作。如果我们生活在基督的意识里，那么所有人都可以合作，并且合作。如果我们生活在基督的意识里，那么所有人都可以合作，并且合作。如果我们生活在基督的意识里，那么所有人都可以合作，并且合作。如果我们生活在基督的意识里，那么所有人都可以合作，并且合作。如果我们生活在基督的意识里，那么所有人都可以合作，并且合作。如果我们生活在基督的意识里，那么所有人都我哋大家生活嘅時候，將 Krishna 咧擺落我哋嘅思想嘅中心，唔係擺其他人。So this very important point which we often speak about, but to actually apply this in our life is very difficult because we're so selfish. 但係因為我哋過得好自私啊，所以講係容易做就難。We'll read more. What did you say? The spiritual entities are meant for enjoyment, as stated in the Vedanta Sutra. Ananda Maya Bhayasat. By nature and constitution, every living being, including the Supreme Lord, and each of his parts and parcels. Is meant for eternal enjoyment. The living beings who are engaged in the material tabernacle are constantly seeking enjoyment, but they are seeking it on the wrong platform. Apart from the material platform, it's the spiritual platform, where the supreme being enjoys himself with his innumerable associates. On that platform. There is no trace of material qualities, and therefore that platform is called nirguna. On the nirguna platform, there is never a clash over the object of enjoyment. Here in the material world, there is always a clash between different individual beings, because here the Proper center of enjoyment is missed. The real center of enjoyment is the Supreme Lord, who is the center of the sublime and spiritual rasa dance. We are all meant to join Him and enjoy life with one transcendental interest and without any clash. That is the highest platform of spiritual interest. And as soon as one realizes this perfect form of oneness, there can be no question of illusion or lamentation. 
。正如維丹達第一章第一篇第十二個詩節講啦，靈性生物嚟講係其實係為咗享樂嘅。Another m y o p i a s 喺個生物體包括至尊主同埋佢嘅每一個微小部分，都係為咗永恆嘅享樂而存在嘅。被囚禁喺物質軀體中，嗰啲生物一直都喺度尋找快樂，但係卻啊喺創地嘅層面嗰度尋找。存在嘅，除咗係物質層面裏面有靈性嘅層面，喺嗰度之上面咧，至尊嘅生物體同佢無數嘅同伴咧，享受住佢自己。但係嗰個層面咧係冇絲毫物質嘅成分嘅，因此被稱為呢一觀啊。喺呢一觀啊嘅層面之上咧，生物從來咧都唔會因為渴望啊同一個享受對象而發生衝突嘅。喺呢個物質世界裏面咧，由於享樂嘅真正嘅中心失去咗。不同嘅個體嘅靈魂之間咧，就會有衝突啦。享樂嘅真正嘅中心就係至尊主，佢嘅崇高嘅靈性 rasa 嘅舞咧，舞蹈咧係核心人物，所以所有嘅生物體咧都係與佢連接啦，帶住同佢一致嘅超然嘅興趣咧，享受呢個生活，冇抵觸同埋衝突。呢、這個就係最高最高層次嘅靈性嘅興趣嘅利益。人一旦認識到呢個完美嘅一層性咧，就不可能有錯覺同埋悲傷啦。So Shri Prabhupada is explaining to us the nature of material life, how we're trying to enjoy. Everyone's trying to enjoy them for themselves. 物質生涯就係咁噶啦，個個都係諗住自己去享受。So the problem is that we are trying to enjoy the body instead of the soul. 個問題咧就係我哋去享受呢個身體，唔係享受個靈魂。So you try to enjoy the body, you'll never be successful for very long. 你享受身體嘅時候咧，你唔會享受得好耐啊。So we have to come to the spiritual platform. We have to come up to that spiritual platform by having Krishna in the center. 所以我哋要提升自己去到個靈性嘅層面啦，以 Krishna 為中心。On the material platform, we think of the body. And the body's activities: eating, sleeping, mating, defending. 喺物质层面咧，我哋谂住嘅享乐咧就系饮食、睡眠、防卫、交配。So those things are also done on the spiritual platform, but the difference is they are done in Krishna consciousness. 呢啲活動咧，我哋奉獻者都做嘅，不過咧就喺 Krishna 知覺之中咧去做。Devotee will still eat, but he will eat prasadam. He will eat food offered to Krishna. 奉獻者都食嘢嘅，但係佢會食 prasadam 啦，佢會食一啲供奉過 Krishna 嘅嘢。The devotee will sleep because he has to use his body for the service of Krishna. 奉獻者都要瞓覺嘅，因為佢好好養好身體啦，嚟到服務 Krishna. And the devotee will defend what is Krishna's property, so he can use it for Krishna's service. Krishna 奉獻者咧，亦都會係做一啲防衞啦，佢要為 Krishna 保護啲財產咧。And the devotee The devotee can make to produce Krishna conscious children. 奉獻者亦都可以咧生產咧具有 Krishna 知覺嘅兒女嘅。So the activities are done on the spiritual platform. Not that we stop all activities, but we change the consciousness in which we perform the activity. 所以呢啲嘅活動奉獻者都做嘅，不過咧就唔喺物質層面啦，佢喺 Krishna 知覺嘅層面去做。So the devotee can experience spiritual pleasure, not just some material pleasure. 奉獻者佢經驗咧就係靈性嘅喜樂啊，唔係單單物質。
A devotee is very conscious to utilize everything for Krishna. In the same way, the materialist is very conscious to utilize everything for his sense gratification. So the, the idea of oneness is there in the sense of oneness in service to Krishna. So Srila Prabhupada continues, a godless civilization arises from illusion and the result of such a civilization is lamentation. A godless civilization such as that sponsored by the modern politicians is always full of anxieties because it may be crushed at any moment. This is the law of nature. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, no one but those who surrender at the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord can surpass the stringent laws of nature. Thus if we wish to get rid of all sorts of illusion and anxiety and create unity out of all diverse interests, we must bring God into all our activities. 不相信的文明有这个错觉导致的 so the people today are very godless. They don't like to hear about God. They don't like to hear about religion. They like to encourage atheism. And if they do believe in God, they think of the God in terms of their own identity. They think they have a Russian God, or there's an Amer the Americans think they have an American God. The African people, they have the African God. 就算他們信神,他們對神的觀念都是錯的。美國人以為有美國神,印度人以為有印度神。So godless civilization is a sign of the Kali Yuga. And we're trying to we're trying to bring God into the society, into the civilization. We want to change the face of the planet. So civilization is godless, so there's so much anxiety at every moment. There are so many problems. 這個無神論的文明啊,文化就引致好多焦慮啊,好多的問題的。So how to stop this godless civilization? Srila Prabhupada refers us to the Bhagavad Gita. 點樣去阻,點樣去阻止呢個文化呢?博加凡哥呢第7章,Pawpa咁講。there, Lord Krishna says, just surrender unto me. Daivihesha gunamai mamad maya duradhyaya mameva ye prapadyante mayamitam tarantite 
The material nature is very difficult to overcome, but if we t surrender to Krishna, we can easily cross beyond it. 呢个狮子咧，第七章第十四个狮子系讲咧，物质自然呢一个力量好强横嘅，只有系皈依啦、臣服啦、至尊主嘅莲花足嘅人咧，先至可以对抗嘅。All right, we'll read some more. The results of our activities must be used to serve the interests of the Lord, and not for any other purpose. Only by serving the Lord's interests can we perceive the Atma Buddha interest mentioned herein. The Atma Buddha interest mentioned in this mantra, and the Brahma Buddha interest mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. Are one and the same. The supreme Atma or soul is the Lord Himself, and the minute Atma is a living entity. The supreme Atma or Paramatma alone maintains all the individual minute beings. For, for the supreme Lord wants to derive, wants to derive pleasure. Out of, out of, out of their affection, the father extends himself through his children and maintains them in order to derive pleasure. <coughs> If the children obey the father's will, family affairs will run smoothly, with no, with with one interest and a pleasing atmosphere. The same situation is transcendentally arranged in the absolute family of the Para Brahman, the Supreme Spirit. 我哋读落去啦。我哋必须用活动嘅结果咧，系取悦至尊主嘅，而不是其他目的嘅。只有让至尊主满意咧，我哋先能够明白呢个狮子中里边讲嘅灵灵性存在阿玛布塔嘅利益。喺呢节诗谈到灵性嘅存在嘅利益，喺《薄伽梵歌》第十八章五十四个诗节，与绝对真理合一 ，Brahma Buddha 嘅利益系一样嘅。至高无上嘅灵魂阿玛系就系至尊主本人，微小嘅灵魂就系个别生物体。至高无上嘅灵魂超灵，帕拉玛玛独自一个维系住所有微小嘅灵魂，因为至尊主想从佢哋嘅感情中摄取快乐。父親透過自己嘅孩子呻吟自己，係為咗享受天倫之樂而養育佢哋。如果孩子們孝順、順從咧，父親嘅意願，家庭事務就會順利進行，大家嘅興趣利益都係一致，家庭氣氛就會係好愉快。同樣道理喺至尊靈魂帕拉乜嘛嘅大大家庭裏邊咧，所做一切超然安排都係一樣。So Prabhupada is quoting the Bhagavad Gita in the 18th chapter. Krishna is saying that one who has come to the platform of Brahman, then he's a joyful soul. 咁帕帕引咗十八章五啊四个诗节咧，就系话一个人咧嚟到呢个梵国嘅时候咧，佢就会好快乐噶啦。Brahma Buddha. The platform. Yes. Yes. What? You lost Madhurya Lila. Uh huh. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh huh. No worries. No worries. It's okay. Okay. All right. So the platform of Brahman means to understand we're not the body. We're un understanding that we're part of the Supreme Lord. 凡嘅层面就意思即系话我哋系生物体啦，我哋系灵魂啦，我哋同至尊主有关系。So the relationship between the Lord and the living entities is like that between the father and the children. 我哋同至尊主嘅关系就好似咧系父子嘅关系。阿玛达，你有冇听到？阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿玛达，阿
тоже мы там о таком плане услышали, вы пропали. Вот так, а что же делать мне? Вот это, ну вот сейчас хорошо слышно, сейчас говорите. Так, сейчас надо еще вспомнить, вспомните, что... А там Гурудев сказал, что то, что на уровне Брахмакуды, тот является счастливой душой. Да, да, это была первая мысль, да. А вторая мысль, а да, что э, выйти на уровень Брахмана, это обозначает понять, что я не тело, э, и понять, что э, я являюсь частичкой Верховного Господа. So Prabhupada describes how in the family it's important for the children to cooperate with the father. So in the same way on the on the absolute platform, it's important for all the living entities to cooperate with the laws of Lord of the Supreme Lord. Of course, we have to know what is the desire of the Supreme Lord, and then we have to cooperate with that. So how to cooperate? First of all, you need to know the desire of the Supreme Lord, and then you have to cooperate. All right, we'll just read the last paragraph here. The Parabrahman is as much a person as the individual living entities. Neither the Lord nor the living entities are impersonal. Such transcendental personalities are full of transcendental bliss, knowledge and life eternally. That is the real position of spiritual existence. And as soon as one is fully cognizant of this transcendental position, he at once surrenders unto the lotus feet of the Supreme Being, Sri Krishna. But such a Mahatma or great soul is very rarely seen, because such transcendental realization is achieved only after many, many births. Once it is attained, however, there is no longer any illusion or lamentation. Or the miseries of material existence, or birth and death, which are all experienced in our present life. This is the information we get from this mantra of Sri Ishopanishad. 我哋讀最後一段，至尊靈魂咧就好似普通嘅靈魂，都係一個人嚟嘅。至尊主咧同生物都不具，都唔係不具有人格特徵嘅。喺呢個超然嘅人物，充滿咗超然嘅極樂啦、知識啦、永恆嘅生命。呢、这個就係靈性存在嘅真實嘅狀態。人一旦完全認識到呢個超然嘅狀態，就會立即歸依投靠。或者係神服、至尊生物、聖主 Krishna 嘅蓮花燭，但呢個偉大咁樣嘅偉大靈魂麥克馬係好罕有嘅，因為呢個超然嘅覺悟只有經歷過好多好多生世之後先至得到嘅。然而一旦得到嗰個超然嘅覺悟，就再冇錯覺啦、悲傷啦、物質嘅存在嘅痛苦啦、生死啦等等咧，喺我哋而家生活嘅經驗嘅一切。呢個就係我哋從至尊奧義書呢個獅子得到嘅信息。So we have to understand the significance of this relationship between the living entity and the Lord。我哋要明白咧，凡靈咧同埋呢個至尊主咧嗰個嘅關係。So one common misunderstanding. Is people think that the supreme is just simply energy? 
，一般人創嘅了解就係以為咧係神咧就係得能量嘅啫。We had one young lady coming here the other day. She was sitting in front of the deities and doing、uh, silent meditation. And so I asked her, "What are you doing?" She said, "I just want to feel the energy." 咁有個女士咧嚟到呢度咧喺神像面前喺度冥想啦。我問佢做乜，佢話我要感受下神嘅能量啊。So I asked her, "Where is the energy coming from?" Then she said, "From Krishna." I asked, "Where is the energy coming from?" Then she said, "From Krishna." I asked, "Where is the energy coming from?" Then she said, "From Krishna." I asked, "Where is the energy coming from?" Then she said, "From Krishna." I asked, "Where is the energy coming from?" Then she said, "From Krishna." I asked, "Where is the energy coming from?" Then she said, "From Krishna." I asked, "Where is the energy coming from?" Then she said, "From Krishna." 要認識 Krishna 咧，就唔係淨係佢嘅能量。So, Prabhupada is referring to the verse in the Bhagavad Gita how people,、uh, uh, by the path of knowledge, then they come to understand also the supreme. 咁 Prabhupada 解釋咧，博阿凡哥講咧，一個人如果佢係學習知識嘅話咧，佢會知道咧，最終嚟講係。至尊人格守神嘅。The Bhagavad Prabhupada is paraphrasing the verse from the Bhagavad Gita, where Lord Krishna says, "By the path of knowledge, one can come to understand the supreme." 再講一次咧，帕帕解釋咧，喺博加凡哥裏邊咧，如果我哋去收集呢個知識嘅路途嘅話咧，咁會瞭解到咧係至尊人格守神。But this path takes many many births. It's a very slow path. 但係呢個知識之途啊，同知識嘅途徑嘅話咧，係要好多生世嘅。And it's also very rare that anyone ever comes to the perfection of that knowledge. 同埋都係好艱難嘅。唔係好多人可以達到嘅呢個境界，呢、这個覺悟。So we're to, we're encouraged that if you simply take to the path of devotion, you can immediately understand the supreme. 所以我哋嘅建議咧就係話，你不如唔好行呢條路啦，你行呢個奉愛嘅路啦，你好快又覺悟到至尊主嘅。And then there will be no problem, no illusion, no anxiety. 咁之後咧，你會發覺咧，好多問題都解決啦，好似煩惱啊、痛苦啊。All right, so we'll stop here. Now we'll ask if there's some questions. 我哋講到呢度有冇問題？啊，有啲問題。Хари Кришна Гора Бухарас, Кириллич, мои поклоны, Шмат Багаватам, 5.19.20, так, 5.19.29 и 30 стихи. Перевод. Шри Шрабхадева Госвами сказал, о царь, так, а вы можете ли пока найти эти, этот стих, как он звучит? У вас там под рукой? Веда Бэйс. И Ватиша Чимат Тыжи. Перевод. Шри Шукадева Касвами сказал, «О царь, по мнению некоторых знатоков вед, вокруг Джамбудрипы расположено восемь небольших островов. Они возникли, когда сыновья Махараджи Сагары в поисках пропавшего жертвенного коня перекопали всю землю. Эти восемь островов называются Сварна Прасха, Чандра Шукла, Аваттана, Раманака, 
Ахмандра Хайла, Панчаджани, Ахимхала и Ланка. В Шмат Бхагаватам достаточно часто можно встретить поступ... подобные странные поступки. Чтобы найти желаемое, была практически разрушена планета. А как воспринимать подобное поведение в возвышенных личностей? To give the, we have to look uh, longer. You can't just um, just judge immediately. You have to see what they're doing. It. What is the purpose behind their actions? And we have to understand more carefully everything. Anyway, the sons of Maharaj Sagar, they had committed an offence, and so the result was they were burnt to ashes. It says that the sons of Maharaj Sagar, they dug up the earth, They was it the sons of Sagar? They dug up the earth, right? They were searching for the horse. And they dug up. Then why they were searching for the horse? 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 Then why they often can see the earth actions. 
。咁因為呢個冒犯，所以佢哋全部被燒成灰燼。Well, the sons of Maharaj Sagar, they're not necessarily very elevated. They were, they made a great offence because they, 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 they thought Kapila had stolen the horse, which their father was going to sacrifice, and so they had anger towards Lord Kapila, and because of their anger, they all got burned to ashes. 咁點解佢哋會燒成灰燼咧？因為佢哋嗰個靈性唔係好高漲，唔係好高超。佢哋以為嗰個聖人卡皮拉咧，就係個偷馬賊。咁啊，憤怒同埋對待唔好對待呢個卡皮拉，所以佢哋有個因果報應，就係將佢哋自己係被燒成灰燼。And so we're warned against offence against the against the Lord or His devotees. We're warned how dangerous it is. We must be very careful. So this story is to teach us to be very careful when we deal with the Lord and the devotees. Some offences will bring great punishment. But there was also the plan of the Lord that it was arranged to bring Mother Ganges down to earth. So this was part. This was part of the plan that the descendants of Maharaj Shaga, Maharaj Bagirat, that he did tapasya and he was able to bring the Ganges down to earth, so that these sons could all be liberated. 咁沙格王嘅六万个仔咧系被烧成灰烬之后咧，咁呢个系至尊主嘅逍遥时光嚟嘅，其中一部分嚟嘅。咁後來咧，佢嘅後人咧叫巴基拉塔咧，佢係做苦行咧，佢將恆河帶落呢個地球咧，將佢哋嘅骨灰咧係淨化而贖罪嘅，將佢罪業清洗。Everything which is in Srimad Bhagavatam, they had must have some special significance, so we can understand that.、Uh, The importance of how we have to deal very carefully with the Lord and His devotees. 咁啊，博加坦出现嘅故事同埋人物咧，都有佢嘅重要性嘅。咁呢个故事咧，就系教训我哋咧，就一定要好小心咧，去相同嗰个嘅至尊主同埋佢嘅奉献者咧，系去相处咧，唔好唔好作出冒犯咧。When we also learn. About how the Ganges came down to earth, and how it's so powerful, it could the waters could liberate all of these sons of Saga. 咁呢个故事亦都讲到咧，系呢个恒河点样去降临呢个地球咧，系净化所有人啦，包括咧系沙格王咧嗰啲嘅儿子嘅冒犯。有冇其他問題 ？What was the other What was the other question from last week？ 上星期講有個問題嘅。Так вот следующее означает ли это, что любые действия допустимы для получения необходимых результатов？ Hare Krishna， 我就是，我就是，我就是，我就是，我就是，我就是，我就是，我就是，我就是，The question from Mataji Kalina. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, and all the devotees, and please accept my humble obeisances. The question is. I heard from one of the senior devotees that in Vedic scriptures uh, the coming of Jesus Christ was predicted. Uh, where is definite? Where is to find uh, this uh, water? No, I I I don't know offhand. I wouldn't be able to tell you where it's found offhand. But there is some mentions. I have heard it before that it's mentioned somewhere in one of the Puranas that that 
there would be an, an, an empowered person who could deliver the fallen souls. Uh, live in the world we have to live with all the other people if you make yourself very different from them then you'll be very difficult to live in the world people will look at you that you're something uh, that you you're so different from them so it will be very difficult to preach to them 那我問題就是問有一天有一次就是說到奉獻者他們的行為舉止要和大家要和諧共處如果你不這樣做你怎樣可以向人傳教和怎樣可以讓人們有一個榜樣 influence them more towards Krishna consciousness. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
today you mentioned that uh, one who has uh, started a path of uh, devotional service, uh, he can uh, understand Krishna. Uh, so how to understand whether I had stepped uh, on this path uh, or not yet? <laughs> Well, we have to understand how much you're attracted to chant Hare Krishna. Uh, how much are you committed to Krishna consciousness? Uh, are you serious about hearing the the, the scriptures, are you serious about associating with devotees? Come on, tell it a man, Tim Chicken, Hiling Sing Song Yao John Bolet, I want got up one day. Tell it to Krishna Chico got chung on your cup, you know, your gay heaven. You're just doing it maybe in a casual way just to pass the time. I have nothing else to do, so I just do it. Come, they mo hai ho lan sang, you know, hoi jo legal ling sola, li ho ying chan. So the faith, the faith should be there. Some faith should be in associating and practicing. There should be some faith, commitment to the process. So we need to have faith. We have 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 to have faith. Well, I don't think I said Advaita Acharya. I think I said get the mercy of Lord Nityananda. The question is, if you want to get the mercy of Lord Nityananda, you have to get the mercy of Lord Nityananda. How do you get the mercy of Lord Nityananda? I don't remember. I said that you had to get the mercy of Advaita Acharya. But I did say Advaita Acharya was responsible for bringing Lord Chaitanya into this world. He was the one who called to him and brought him to come. Then I remember that it's not that you have to get the mercy of the Lord Chaitanya, you should get the mercy of the Lord Nityananda. But how do you get the mercy of the Lord Chaitanya? He is the one who is the Lord Chaitanya to come to this world. He came to the Lord Chaitanya. But we approach Lord Chaitanya through the spiritual teacher. By the mercy of the spiritual teacher, then you come, can come to Lord, Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Nityananda, he is the, he is the original spiritual teacher. So we are going to get to the Lord Chaitanya. It is the original spiritual teacher. Lord Nityananda is not different from Lord Balaram, and Lord Balaram is the original spiritual master. Nityananda and Balaram are not different, so they are the original spiritual master. Nityananda and Balaram are not different from Lord Balaram, and Lord Balaram is the original spiritual master. 
а Господь Баларама является изначальным духовным учителем. So you want to get the mercy of Lord Nityananda, you have to help him in his mission to serve Lord Chaitanya. Lord Nityananda was sent to go door to door to everyone to ask them to chant Hare Krishna and to worship Krishna, to read the books about Krishna. So we want to get the mercy of Lord Nityananda, we have to we have to take up that mission on his behalf. We have to also go door to door to everyone and beg them to chant Hare Krishna and to worship Krishna and to read the books about Krishna. So Any other question there? Somebody, somebody has given us a quote. No more questions? Okay, so then we'll stop here today. Okay, we thank, thank Madhuri Lila for translation and thank the devotees for participation. So today's a courtesy here. Are you having a courtesy there today? Yes. Okay, so have a nice courtesy. See you next week. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada Jai. Jai. Okay. Hari Bhakti. Hari Krishna.